Hey, howdy. Today I'm going to show you how to set the angle of your dynamic elevating legs. To start with, you go to the outside of the legs, look for this silver screw on the outside, and notice that there's markings on it. These markings are going to indicate your angles. So take your 5mm Allen key, loosen that bolt all the way out. I've done most of it for expediency here, but you will have to do it. Once it's removable, you can actually use it as a tool to push the inside plate out. You may have to release some of the tension on that leg to get that inside plate to remove. Set that to the side for now. And then you can remove that screw. Again, release a little bit of tension, pull that plate out. Now when you pull that plate out, there's nothing holding the dynamic leg in place. That knee is free floating. On the inside of this plate, you have a boss that you're gonna to need to take note of and a bunch of angles. To set the angle, you decide which angle you want to set it to. I'm gonna set this one up to 60 degrees. Point that arrow straight upright and preset where that hole is. Take the leg again, orient it correctly, so you're gonna to have to have the bushing so that when it elevates, that can swing forward and compress. Slide it between the knee bosses, and you're gonna to have to slot it in roughly at 60 degrees. There we go, 60 degrees, and then that plate should click in just fine. Take your inside plate, make note of where that boss was, and you insert it in as well. Lock it in place, and before I put the bolt in, I like to give the leg a quick elevation just to make sure that it's still functioning correctly. Replace that six millimeter bolt, use your five millimeter Allen key, and screw it all the way in. And now you have a new angle set on that elevating leg rest.